<laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> okay. We're having a fun evening tonight, right? <laughs> I think we're about to make it a little more fun. So. <laughs> I have a question for you guys. Um, how many people here speak another language? <laughs> Just, yeah, anything, non-English? <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, it is hard to learn another language, isn't it? I mean, think about it. All of us immigrants and foreigners that came to this country, we all had to learn English you know, better or worse, but so, yeah, sometimes it is hard because, you know, you, sometimes you don't know what to say or how to say it, and sometimes you think you know, but what you actually have said has a whole different meaning, <laughs> and it can be straight embarrassing, though you didn't know, but it can be, and almost like, you know, a blooper, and um, I've been collecting different stories. Most of them happened to me. Um, some other people have shared with me, and um, I would like to share some of my favorites with you tonight. <laughs> so, yeah, don't tell your parents. No. Anyway, uh, <laughs> my <laughs> my very first job in America was at Pizza Hut, and I was answering phones, and we had to wear uniforms with hats and everything. I just hated that hat, but anyway. So uh, one time I came to work and I was without the hat and the manager said, no, 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 Helen, you gotta put on the hat. So I did and he said, no, that doesn't work. Your hair is really long. I want you to pull it up, yeah. And I didn't have rubber band with me, so I had to ask him for one and Sometimes in Russian you can say it as one word. So unfortunately my manager was kind of further down that way and I had to be loud. So I asked him, I said, do you have an extra rubber? <laughs> <laughs> and I mean all of a sudden like all the cooks and drivers, everybody was just like, <laughs> just like laughing. And he decided to have more fun with it. He said, do you mean right now? <laughs> And I was like, well, what's going on? Why, why is everybody laughing? <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> so um, another story, it's interesting, we just had Super Bowl, and this was also around the season of Super Bowl at, uh, at Pizza Hut. We got, at the store, we had those bowls, like really nice ones, and they said cowboys, you know. So a manager said, Helen, when people order pizza, um, offer them to buy the bowl also. Now, I was new to this country, so I've never seen the term Super Bowl written or never heard it, uh, how it, what, what it was referring to. So when I heard Super Bowl, I was thinking like super nice ball, you know, like you would say Superman. So for two hours that I was, you know, that I'd been working that day, I was telling customers, um, we have Super Bowl here, would you like one? <laughs> and then uh, about two hours later, my manager walked by and he said, what are you telling them? <laughs> so that's how I learned. And um, another interesting story happened. I was taking a government class in Richland College. And the question was, it was a multiple choice test. The question was, does the Congress have the power to oversee the president's appointments? And it was multiple choice, and that was during Clinton time. So I was... <laughs> I was thinking, um, I don't think they tell Clinton when to see his friends or Monica Lewinsky or anybody, really. I mean, I don't think they do that. So I put no, you know, that's not true. And then I went to ask my teacher, I said, how come I missed that question? I said, do they actually tell Clinton when to see everyone? <laughs> she had a good time with that one because the word appointment, right? <laughs> and so, and, um, well, it gets worse from here, but okay. <laughs> um, I was working for a software company, and I had to tell the manager, or actually I had to send him an email, that a guy that worked with me has given me some kind of information uh, that he gave me a hard disk. 
And unfortunately, I mean, I don't know why, but I kind of misspelled the word disk. Um, <laughs> I accidentally put a different letter instead of an a C, an S. And um, now, as luck would have it, the manager did notice that. So he replied in email, um, well, why are you telling me about this? You know, it's your, it's your personal business. I mean, what you guys do, you know, so. <laughs> and, um, you know, sometimes I do feel kind of sorry in a way for people that, you know, just got to the country and they're still trying to master English because this lady, she was trying to get, she was on a job interview and the boss, he knew that she's from another country, so he was curious if she's, if she's a citizen or not, so he said, uh, can you vote? And she's thinking, I don't know what that means, but I think that's something I got to do at this job, you know? So she's like, uh, no, but I can learn very fast. <laughs> uh, he said, no, 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 you didn't understand. See, he can vote and she can vote. Can you vote? No, but I can learn very fast. <laughs> and um, it does get pretty confusing for some people because um, also, a true story, one man was filling out an application for the job, and in the line that said sex, he put, not often. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he wondered why they asked that, but anyway. Um, and so, and um, there, w there was one time when I actually insulted my boss, and, well, I didn't know, but I thought I was actually giving him a compliment. He was very respectful, kind of older guy, a broker. And so he had this expression, he said, sounds like a winner to me. So one time he was standing by the copy machine just saying something to himself. He said, winner, winner, winner. And then he switched the word. He said, wiener, wiener. And of course, all I could knew and could hear was winner. And then he kind of suspected. He said, Helen, do you know what wiener means? And I'm thinking winner. So I say, Oh, sure I know. It's you. Mm. And um, he didn't really like that. He's like, get out of here. Do you know what it means? I'm like, somebody who wins in life? I don't know. <laughs> so it was a good learning experience. And... Uh, <laughs> and uh, I guess the last story I'll share with you today, and it's, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> There was um, a man, the family, they came to America maybe two months or so, and they lived in apartments. And so one day, uh, the fan in his bathroom wasn't working, and he had to call in the service request. He didn't know how to say the word bathroom, but sometimes in Russian you can say toilet for the same word. And he also didn't sound fan correctly. He pronounced it more like fun, kind of. So here's what happened. He called the office and he said, hello, I have a problem. I have no fun in a toilet. <laughs> you can just imagine <laughs> what the office thought. And, um, <laughs> and so all of the stories I told you are actually true stories. And, um, Thank you so much. <laughs>